you guys my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel you guys in today's video I'm going to be finally giving you a review on IEW structure and style level 1a so you guys if any of you are new here to my channel again my name is Brittany I'm a homeschooling mom to three girls and I am in my third year of homeschool you guys I am so excited today to share with you my review on IEW structure and style me and my daughter, we have been working through this curriculum for about a month now, and I really feel like I can finally come to you guys and talk to you like more details about IEW. I was really looking for more of a structure form of a writing curriculum for my daughter, especially since she is wrapping up her elementary years. I know writing is so important, especially as she just in life, just in general, writing is just a really, really important curriculum. And I really knew that I did want to go ahead and outsource writing for her. And um, I just have been dying to do IEW. I'm so excited that we have finally started started it and uh yeah <laughs> so you guys i will go ahead and disclose that i am a part of iew's affiliate uh program however in this video all of my opinions and my review is all of my own no one is paying me to uh talk about or to say anything particular about this curriculum i am going to be truthful and honest about all of the pros and the cons that i have seen so far while we have used iew structure and style so if you are starting off with IEW's, I guess their program when it comes to writing, they have uh, specific levels when it comes to their writing program, especially the structure and style. The structure and style has uh, A, B, and C. A is for elementary, B is for middle, and C is for high school. So uh, if your kiddo is starting the IEW structure program and they are in, I believe, is it the eighth grade? They do still recommend them doing the level B, which is their uh, midpoint when it comes to their uh, writing curriculum. Now, uh, this curriculum in particular, it is a uh, video lessons. So me as mama, I am kind of hands off when it comes to this curriculum as far as the instructions go. However, I still do have to, you know, be very active in this process when it comes to teaching and uh, editing and just the whole thing. I do watch the videos from Andrew Pudua with Brielle. I try my best to watch as many as I can. Sometimes I do have Brielle doing this curriculum when I am working with her younger two uh, siblings um, and it works out uh, really well for that. And other times I am watching the videos with her when it comes to this because I definitely want to make sure that I am uh, giving her the right instruction when it comes to my time as far as parent involvement. So you guys, don't be worried when it comes to teaching the kiddos because IEW, when you uh, get their structure and style, you will have this teacher's guide or this teacher's manual. And inside of this teacher manual, you will have all of like the whiteboard notes that Andrew Pudawa gives the students. You will have particular checklists and um, markings when it comes to uh, grading your kiddos writing assignments. So you're not just like left out to dry <laughs> when it comes to this curriculum. Uh, you do have some type of hand holding, especially when it comes to this teacher's guide. So this right here will be your BFF in helping your kiddos. So you guys, I did already make an initial flip through video of IEW Structure and Style showing you the inside, the layout. And if you guys want more like details about how the inside looks, I will go ahead and put that in the iCart below and I will put it in my description box so you can kind of get a more in-depth view of the inside of the curriculum. However, in today's video, I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight one week's worth of assignments from Brielle. And also to you guys, Brielle did say she didn't mind talking about IEW and her personal opinion about this curriculum as well. So you're not only gonna be hearing my opinions, but you will be hearing uh, how Brielle feels about this curriculum as the student. So you guys, I went ahead and I pulled out one of the week's worth of assignments to kind of explain to you how this program actually works. Um, this right here is week four's checklist. Hopefully you guys can kind of see this. Here, let me, yeah, there it goes. So this right here is the checklist that they will give you at the beginning of each week. And the checklist will go over each and everything that you're going to be doing as far as the days goes. Now, this is a four day, four to five day writing program. 
depending on uh, how you decide to use it in your household. For me, I pretty much follow this checklist pretty closely when it comes to my um, household and how we use it. The first two days of this uh, writing curriculum, the kiddos will be watching a video lesson held by Andrew Pudawa, where they will be working on their source text and they will be learning how to make keyword outlines. After they finish watching the videos, uh, after the first two days, they have made their keyword outline. They then will take their keyword outline and they will make their own rough draft. You as the parent will then come in in that portion of their rough draft. You will come in as editor where you will help them edit their writing assignment that they have for the week. You will have a specific checklist that you will go over with the kiddos as far as what Andrew Pudawa is looking for the kiddos each week. And here goes one of the checklists that I have right here. This one is actually all filled out because this is a week that Brielle actually already completed. And in the checklist, it'll have specific things that you're looking for, like capitalization, in marks, punctuation. You're looking for complete sentences and correct spelling. And as the weeks go on, your checklist as far as your compositions will increase by the specific guidelines that they are looking for the kiddos. So this curriculum is very systematic and it definitely builds upon each other as the weeks go on. So uh, I definitely love having like all this handholding. Uh, writing is not a strong subject for me. And uh, while I love reading and things like that, it just doesn't come natural to me. But as Brielle is doing this curriculum, I am learning a lot alongside her. So I'm definitely happy to be kind of like doing this writing process with her. So the first thing the kiddos will get will be their source text. And in their source text, they will be highlighting the key words that they're going to be using to make their keyword outline. And here goes Brielle's source text right here that she already highlighted. And this source text is the fox and the stork. Uh, IEW does use a lot of like Aesop fables and things like that when they're allowing the kiddos to use the source, te the source text from that. And it's kind of cool because Brielle is learning a little bit more about literature as she's doing this writing curriculum. So it's like we are hitting like two birds with one stone. Along with that, in a lot of these Aesop fables, there are like higher vocabulary words that your kiddos don't know. So in your teacher guide, it does suggest you to allow your kiddos to look up those definitions that they don't know. So you are inadvertently getting more vocabulary. And for me, vocabulary is definitely something we're definitely focusing on this homeschooling year. So uh, this is Brielle's keyword outline that she already did or her source text that she picked out the words from the video. And after this, she will then create her keyword outline. And here goes her keyword outline right here that she created from the video. And in this particular week, she was actually going over LY adverbs and they were teaching her how to add in more into her writing. So from her keyword outline, then she has to write her rough draft. So Brielle, she has to follow the guidelines from Andrew Pudawa in writing her rough draft. And here was her rough draft that she did. He uh, specifically goes over how he wants the kiddos to write. He even has like them having their name and date at the beginning of the paper. He talks about making titles and he actually teaches them how to write when they're writing their rough drafts to double space to allow room for edits. And uh, he goes over all of that. Like I didn't even have to tell her that. And it was really cool seeing her first rough draft that she made in following the instructions that Andrew Pudawa gave her. Now, after she gets to her rough draft, that is when me as mom, I have to come in. And what I typically do is Brielle, she's actually pretty good at uh, writing her rough draft. And sometimes before I even get an opportunity to do her edits, she kind of is editing it herself because she kind of sees, oh yeah, I forgot to add a period. And sometimes when I go in, uh, what I do is I go ahead and I tell Brielle, Brie, go ahead and type your... Uh, rough draft and what she will do is she will type her rough draft and in this case she typed her rough draft and i told her to go ahead and highlight all of the ly adverbs that she added into her um paragraph that she wrote for her uh from her keyword outline and from here then i will go over any edits or any mistakes and we'll kind of like work on our edits on the computer and after we finish that brielle will have her final draft 
of her uh, writing assignment and then we will move on to the next week's worth of uh, writing. So Brielle is a really strong writer. Uh, writing is definitely something that she is passionate about and she is very interested in. So right now at the beginning, I definitely know that uh, these lessons are really, really easy and they set it up that way to really build confidence within the kiddos as far as their writing goes. Brielle right now is finishing this four day process in two days. I know this program is gonna get difficult for her and she definitely is going to have to take all four days when it comes to um, this writing process as uh, the guidelines increase as far as like band words or uh, LY adverbs as those checklists increase. I definitely know she is gonna uh, have to take longer on her assignments. But right now she is uh, going through this curriculum pretty fast, uh, but she definitely is enjoying it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you guys about my pros and my cons about this curriculum and whether I believe it will be a good fit for you. So my pros of this curriculum is first and foremost, it definitely teaches the structure and style when it comes to writing. It breaks it down into the simplest forms. Uh, it's no questions. Everything is really uh, direct, systematic. Uh, your kids will understand. Uh, it, I think this program is definitely great for a struggling writer because it's definitely going over each process. Uh, it's definitely breaking it down. You're not telling your kiddo to write about their favorite food and giving them a sheet of paper and you know magically thinking that they can uh, come up with a paragraph uh, without any particular like help or guidelines. Uh, Andrew Pudawa definitely takes the kiddos through each step so they're not left just staring at a blank sheet of paper and that's definitely something I appreciate. Another thing I definitely can say is that your kiddo will leave this program being a strong writer. I mean, especially if uh, they go through this program. Now, this program, Structure and Style, is intended to be a year-long program. However, I did see a lot of uh, parents who broke up this program uh, into two years, and it definitely is possible to break up this program into two years. It's a total of 24 units. They do have like a 30-week adapted schedule that you can follow. Some kiddos may go through this fast. Some might take two years, like I said, and I definitely can see how you can uh, stretch this program out and it definitely will benefit some students to stretch this program out over the course of two years. So you guys, my cons about this curriculum is I do feel like the video lessons can be lengthy. That's just me and my personal opinion. My daughter actually doesn't mind it. However, I can see some students where uh, that would definitely be a con uh, watching a video lesson for 30 minutes. Now, a suggestion I definitely would say is to break up those videos, especially if you have like a younger kiddo. Uh, that would definitely be the best way to do it is to break it up, uh, stretch out that checklist, that four to five day str uh, checklist, stretch it out over two weeks worth of time. Your kiddos definitely still will benefit from it, but it definitely will be uh, more gentle when it comes to learning the structure of writing. Uh, the second thing I definitely will say so far, I'm only a month in, but I definitely will say this curriculum does not teach the kiddos about their about learning how to have their own voice in writing. Now, something kind of like a uh, brave writer where she goes over and she teaches like uh, having your own voice in writing. Uh, she definitely uh, focuses on that creative outlet, that free write type of expressive form. Uh, you guys, I love Brave Writer and I know I can talk about this one in a separate video, but I will say Brave Writer does a better job at teaching your kiddos uh, just like uh, how to express themselves and how to have their own voice. And I feel like if your kiddo doesn't already like have their own voice in writing, uh, it may not do them justice to start off in such a rigid and structured form of writing style. Um, I definitely see the benefits of teaching your kiddos how to have their own voice and to have that year of doing creative writing. My daughter actually did creative writing for probably almost two years now because she started off in a third grade where she did more creative styles of writing and she was able to develop her own voice by doing that. And I definitely will say that is something I'm gonna do with my younger kiddos before I start off with this particular curriculum. I will say even though this curriculum is classified uh, for grades three to five, I definitely will say it is for a, a little bit older of a child. I definitely wouldn't do this curriculum, particularly with a third grader. In my personal opinion, if I do do it with my third grader, they would definitely have to be a strong writer and already have their voice in writing. Uh, whereas I did a lot of oral narration. I did a lot of things like that with them to prep them for this particular curriculum. 
Other than that, I definitely would recommend this for fourth, fifth grade, starting off the structure of writing. Uh, I definitely feel like you don't want your kiddo to hate writing. You definitely want them to feel empowered when it comes to writing. And doing a very, very structured program like this, starting off, I definitely wouldn't recommend that. Okay, Brie, I'm gonna go ahead and get your review on IEW. I'm gonna ask you a few questions. So what do you absolutely love about IEW? I love how you can make a keyword outline and how you can um, expound on it and make a, a great paragraph with it. Yeah. How do you like Andrew Poudreau teaching you writing? I like it. You do? You like the video lessons? Uh-huh. Yeah. So what are some things you don't really like about IEW? Nothing. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> you absolutely love it? Mm-hmm. Okay. So do you like when we work together on the rough draft? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you do? Is there anything else you want to tell any kids about IEW? Uh, that the videos are funny, so yeah. Oh, the video, he's funny <laughs> on the videos? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> do you like that it gives you a sense of independence? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that you don't need mommy to do your writing instruction? Mm-hmm. Would you like to continue with the IEW program? Of course. Of course? Okay. <laughs> so, Brie, how many thumbs up does it get? It gets a million thumbs up. A million thumbs up. Okay, thanks for, for your review. You're welcome. <laughs> but you guys, overall, I love IEW. It's great. I love Fix It Grammar. Like, I cannot end this video without talking about Fix It Grammar. I actually have two books of Fix It Grammar because right now Brielle's on week 14 of Town Mouse and Country Mouse. So I know this is not gonna last us throughout the whole year. So I went ahead and I got the next book, which is Robin Hood, uh, ready to go waiting for her. So overall, you guys, this program, it's really, really great. It definitely has its benefits in my household. And uh, yeah, so you guys, I really hope you enjoy seeing like my review, me talking and chit chatting about IEW. I cannot wait to come with you guys with my um, overall final review as we finish off IEW. And I hope this kind of gave you a little bit more insight to how the program actually works. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one. Bye.